In this Microsoft Excel tutorial, we are going to create a pivot table showing the top 10 states by the number of customers. There are actually 11 states because two states share the number 10 spot with 2,500 customers each. We also have the consolidated total for all the other states so that it adds up to our total number of customers 100%. We will begin with the number of customers for each of the 50 states. Go to the Insert ribbon and insert a pivot table. On the right-hand panel, place the state on rows and the number of customers on values. Go to the Design ribbon and change the report layout to tabular. Doing this first will make it a lot easier to make changes to the pivot table as we go along. Let's right mouse click on the customers column and sort from largest to smallest. Now we want to select the first 10 states with the largest number of customers. I can do this manually, but I might not notice if two or more states are tied for 10th place and should be included. To be safe, I will let Excel find the top 10. To do this, in the column header for state, click the down arrow, and in the menu, go to Value Filters, Top 10. You can specify the top 10 or 12 or whatever number you want and click OK. The data has been filtered to show only the top states. Let's select them. Go to Pivot Table Analyze. Click on Group Selection. Our top states are in a group together and all the other states appear in the table, each one in its own group. Let's rename Group 1. I will first type a space and then top 10 states, so space, top 10 states. Now in the first column header, which is the group column, click the down arrow and sort it from A to Z. The top 10 group should appear at the top because we put a space as the first character in the group name. Now we can easily select all of the other states. And again, click on Pivot Table Analyze, Group Selection. Name this group all other states, but it's not all the other states. It is only the next 10, so we need to remove the top 10 filter that we had originally set up. Go to the State of Residence column header, click the down arrow, and on the drop-down menu, click Clear Filter from State of Residence. As a result, all the other states are back in the table and they show up under the second group. In the pivot table, click the button next to all other states to hide the state names for just this group. Let's try adding another copy of the number of customers field to values. In this new column, right mouse click, make sure summarize values is by sum, and click on show values as the percent of grand total. I always like to see what percentage of grand total comes from the top 10. Here it is 34%, so just over one third of our customers came from 10 states, or actually 11 states, which is a little bit confusing, so maybe we should add another copy of customers to values. And in this new column, right mouse click, make sure summarize values, again, is by sum, then click on show values as, and this time, choose Rank Largest to Smallest. The rank helps to explain why our top 10 list contains 11 items. Once the pivot table is completed, you can change the report layout back to compact. And then you may also need to readjust some of the formatting. To create this pivot table, we used the top 10 filter to identify the top states, put them in a group, and then put all the other states into another group and remove the top 10 filter. We also added additional columns just to provide some further analysis. I hope this video was helpful. If you enjoy learning about working with data, please consider subscribing to this channel.